Today we're looking at Psalm 126 through 130, but there's one specific Psalm I want to focus on, and it's Psalm 127. Here's what they're talking about all these Psalms, that they're coming back into the land, they're returning to Zion, so to speak, they're rebuilding, and they're finally coming back, and they're celebrating all that God is doing for them. But listen to this Psalm. It says, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain, who build it? Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is vain for you to rise early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he gives his beloved sleep. Listen to what he says. The Lord builds, the Lord guards, or he watches, and the Lord gives. And he's saying without the Lord doing those things, or without the Lord being part of the rebuilding of the city, or even in our lives, things like a business or a ministry or a home or whatever it might be, unless the Lord's in it, well, there's no eternal value to it. There's no sure foundation of it if it's something that you want Him to be a part of. Unless the Lord builds, guards, gives, watches, and then He goes on, probably to talk about the most important thing that God could ever build. And He says, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has a quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. The most important thing for the Lord to build would be your family. And unless the Lord is a part of it, unless he's involved in it, uh, it's not going to end well, most likely. But he says, children are a heritage, fruit of the womb, like arrows in the hand of a warrior. So if God's given you children, recognize that the Lord needs to be a part of their lives. Like arrows in a quiver, you can pull them out, you point them towards a target, and that target would be a genuine, lifelong relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the way you build a house. That's the way that you build a home. That's the way you build something that'll last, unless the Lord is involved and helps you build that house with those children, that legacy. Well, he says, it'll probably be in vain. So Psalm 127, let the Lord build, let him watch, let him guard, and let him give you an amazing heritage as he helps you build those things in your life that, well, they last forever.